Hey y'all, this is my part two of the ATI American Tactical M1911 Military. So I said I'd do a part two of this one to disassemble the gun. And something I forgot to do in the first video that I, I said I would do, I, I didn't weigh it. So I'm going to weigh that for you in this video. But before we begin, let's clear and safe this weapon. So we've got an empty mag. There's a follower. No magazine inserted. No round in the chamber. So yeah, not to beat a dead horse, this is a great gun. It's got a great finish on it. And for just that $500, great gun. You know, especially if you're trying to start off in the 1911 market. 1911s are expensive. But um, let's go ahead and get this thing weighed. So we got it on, got it, got it zeroed out. All right, so here it is. She's a little bit more beefy. Let's get her on there good. So 30, 39.1 ounces, no magazine inserted. It's 39.1 ounces. Let's insert an empty mag. All right. 41.7. She is beefy. But she will get the job done. All right. So, like I said, I'm going to take this apart for you. So I, I am doing this one-handed. I will have to pause the video. I'm going to pause the video, take it apart, show you the components. All right. So we are back. So I've got the gun disassembled. Um, it's not too terribly hard to disassemble now like if you watch my other video this is my first 1911 i'm getting used to the 1911 and its parts and components so if i butcher the names of these parts please be gentle with me like i said i'm learning but um yeah uh and update too right i think in my first video i said i've gotten i think i said 200 rounds through it uh i have currently with this video being shot i have put almost 650 rounds i was like 630 630 rounds i've put through it um i did have one failure to feed and it was with a steel cased uh 45 acp but um it fed them it uh, i mean it works like a charm so let's uh let's look at this real quick. So like I said, 630 rounds. Let's look at it. Let's take the rag real quick and wipe off some of this oil because I did clean it. So I do got a little bit of wear from the the slide stop. You can probably barely see it. But yeah, it's got full rails run the whole length of the, the gun see in there there's your feed ramp that's something i'm not used to either is the feed ramp being a part of the frame on a 1911 as opposed to being on a bear on the barrel um it's uh i mean it's holding together pretty good very very happy with how it has performed thus far I, um, like I said, I'm at roughly 630 rounds through it, and, um, the, I said I had a failure to feed with that steel case ammo. Um, I was using the magazine that comes with it, the Act Mag. Now, I use the Chip McCormick Power Mags with it as well. Uh, not a problem. That, that's a solid magazine. I have thoroughly enjoyed that magazine. Uh, let's look at everything else on it. So, here's your... Um, part of this is what takes it down, but this is also your, uh, your slide stop, right? Um, so this pin comes out and you can see there's a little bit of wear on it. It's just the finish on it. There's no indentation in the metal. Um, 
solid. This is your guide rod. Now this is another thing. I'm used to like a full guide rod. This is like this little stubby guide rod. But um, you can see a little bit of wear on the finish. But other than that, I mean, it's it's good. There's no indentations in it, right? It's still smooth. Um, this is your barrel bushing. I did look this up. This is something new to me as well as far as disassembling of a 1911. But... um. No wear on that. And here's your recoil spring. And um, like I said, I don't know the name of this part. I know it just keeps it in place, you know, with that bushing. But um, yeah, this is uh, it's in pretty good shape. Hey, the spring, um, you know, I've, you know, aftermarket and upgrades and stuff. Um, I know you can buy more springs for this and I'm supposing, you know, they'll work. I have yet to try them and I don't know what the weight of this is. I've looked online to try to find out because there's nothing in the manual for this tells you what the weight of this spring is. I'm going to assume 17 or 18 pounds, but, uh, I'm probably wrong on that, but it's, um, it's not hard to rack. So I would assume it's probably 17 or 18 um uh, what's the uh, i haven't looked at the barrel yet let's look at the barrel so barrel so i got a little bit of you know on the finish right there on these little it's got these little like nubs right it's not marred into it it's like i said it's just the the finish on there um but the barrels in really good shape. And then last but not least the slide. So um said she's in good shape inside there. Oop. You see a little bit of wearing right here, just on the, the finish, like I said, but it's not, it's not indented or anything like that. This thing runs really smooth, and the tolerances on it are really tight. Now, I don't know if the tolerances are supposed to be tight, if they're supposed to be loose, but, I mean, this thing doesn't rattle or shake or nothing. Um, I mean, it's all metal. The only thing on here that's not metal are the, the grips made out of wood. Um, I have taken this firing pin out to clean it. Um, and I looked up a video on how to do that, you know, just uh, off of, you know, another 1911. So I guess the when you remove this, the firing pin comes out and this little round piece off to the side here, which pulls out your, I'm guessing, I think that's your ejector. It slides all the way out. You can clean it. I've cleaned all this, made sure it was all good to go. But um, yeah, she's solid. And let me uh, let me get her put back together, and we'll conclude this video. All right, she's reassembled. So yeah, that is the takedown and review, and we ended up weighing it as well of the ATI American Tactical. M1911 military. Like I said, it's been a great shooter, great introduction to 1911s. If you want to get into one for, you know, at a good price, and guess what? It's customizable, so you can always upgrade this as, as you want. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you like this video. Thanks.